A coalition government is a cabinet of a parliamentary government in which multiple political parties cooperate, reducing the dominance of any one party within that coalition. The usual reason for this arrangement is that no party on its own can achieve a majority in the parliament. A coalition government might also be created in a time of nationals' difficulty or crisis, for example, during wartime or economic crisis, to give a government the high degree of perceived political legitimacy or collective identity it desires while also playing a role in diminishing internal political strife. In such times, parties have formed all party coalitions, national unity governments, grand coalitions. If a coalition collapses, a confidence vote is held or a motion of no confidence is taken. Practice When a general election does not produce a clear majority for a single party, parties either form coalition cabinets, supported by a parliamentary majority, or minority cabinets which may consist of one or more parties. Cabinets based on a group of parties that command a majority in parliament tend to be more stable and long-lived than minority cabinets. While the former are prone to internal struggles, they have less reason to fear votes of no confidence. Majority governments based on a single party are typically even more stable, as long as their majority can be maintained. Distribution <inaudible> 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 Countries which often operate with coalition cabinets include, the Nordic countries, the Benelux countries, Australia, Austria, Cyprus, France, Germany, Greece, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Kenya, Kosovo, Latvia, Lebanon, Nepal, New Zealand, Pakistan, Thailand, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey and Ukraine. Switzerland has been ruled by a coalition of the four strongest parties in Parliament from 1959 to 2008, called the magic formula between 2010 and 2015 the united kingdom also operated a formal coalition between the conservative and the liberal democrat parties but this was unusual the uk usually has a single party majority government topic <laughs> <laughs> coalitions composed of few parties topic <laughs> United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, coalition governments sometimes known as national governments usually have only been formed at times of national crisis. The most prominent was the National Government of 1931 to 1940. There were multi-party coalitions during both world wars. Apart from this, when no party has had a majority, minority governments normally have been formed with one or more opposition parties agreeing to vote in favor of the legislation which governments need to function, for instance the Labour government of James Callaghan came to an agreement with the Liberals in 1977 when it lost the narrow majority it had gained in the October 1974 election. However, in the run-up to the 1997 general election, Labour opposition leader Tony Blair was in talks with Liberal Democrat leader Paddy Ashdown about forming a coalition government if Labour failed to win a majority at the election, but there proved to be no need for a coalition as Labour won the election by a landslide. The 2010 general election resulted in a hung parliament Britain's first for 36 years, and the Conservatives, led by David Cameron, which had won the largest number of seats, formed a coalition with the Liberal Democrats in order to gain a parliamentary majority, ending 13 years of Labour government. This was the first time that the Conservatives and Lib Dems had made a power-sharing deal at Westminster. It was also the first full coalition in Britain since 1945, having been formed 70 years virtually to the day after the establishment of Winston Churchill's wartime coalition, although there had been a Lib Lab Pact, an agreement stopping well short of a coalition, between the Labour and Liberal parties, from March 1977 until July 1978, after a series of by election defeats had eroded Labour's majority of three seats which had been gained at the October 1974 election. Labour and the Liberal Democrats entered into coalition three times in the Scottish Parliament and twice in the Welsh Assembly. The 2016 Welsh Government is also a coalition with the Liberal Democrats and Labour with Kirsty Williams AM taking the education portfolio. The 2017 general election resulted in a de facto coalition between the Conservative Party and the Northern Ireland Democratic Unionist Party. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Germany. In Germany, for instance, coalition government is the norm, as it is rare for either the Christian Democratic Union of Germany together with their partners the Christian Social Union in Bavaria CDU, CSU, or the Social Democratic Party of Germany SPD, to win an unqualified majority in a national election. Thus, at the federal level, governments are formed with at least two parties. For example, Helmut Kohl's CDU governed for years in coalition with the Free Democratic Party FDP. From 1998 to 2005, Gerhard Schröder's SPD was in power with the Greens, and from 2009, Angela Merkel, CDU, CSU was in power with the FDP. Grand coalitions of the two large parties also occur, but these are relatively rare, as large parties usually prefer to associate with small ones. However, if none of the larger parties can receive enough votes to form their preferred coalition, a grand coalition might be their only choice for forming a government. This was the situation in Germany in 2005 when Angela Merkel became chancellor. In early elections, the CDU CSU did not garner enough votes to form a majority coalition with the FDP. Similarly, the SPD and Greens did not have enough votes to continue with their formerly ruling coalition. A grand coalition government was subsequently forged between the CDU, CSU, and the SPD. Partnerships like these typically involve carefully structured cabinets. The CDU, CSU ended up holding the chancellery while the SPD took the majority of cabinet posts. Parties frequently make statements ahead of elections which coalitions they categorically reject, similar to election promises or shadow cabinets in other countries. In Germany, coalitions rarely consist of more than two parties CDU and CSU, two allies which always form a single caucus, are in this regard considered a single party. However, in the 2010s coalitions on the state level increasingly included three different parties, often FDP, Greens and one of the major parties or «Red-Red-Green» coalitions of SPD, Linksparte and Greens. Examples of coalitions Australia In federal Australian politics, the conservative Liberal, National, Country Liberal and Liberal National parties are united in a coalition, known simply as the Coalition. The coalition has become so stable, at least at the federal level, that in practice the lower house of parliament has become a two-party house, with the coalition and the Labour Party being the major parties. This coalition is also found in the states of New South Wales and Victoria. In South Australia and Western Australia the Liberal and National parties compete separately, while in the Northern Territory and Queensland the two parties have merged, forming the Country Liberal Party, in 1978, and the Liberal National Party, in 2008, respectively. The other federal coalition has been United Australia Country Independence Coalition in 1940 In Tasmania Liberal Greens Coalition in 1996 Labour Greens coalitions formed in 1989 and 2010. In the Australian Capital Territory Liberal Independent Coalition in 1998. Labour Greens coalitions in 2001 and 2008. Belgium In Belgium, where there are separate Dutch-speaking and French-speaking parties for each political grouping, coalition cabinets of up to six parties are common. Canada In Canada, the Great Coalition was formed in 1864 by the Clear Grits, Party Blue, and Liberal Conservative Party. During the First World War, Prime Minister Robert Borden attempted to form a coalition with the opposition Liberals to broaden support for controversial conscription legislation. The Liberal Party refused the offer but some of their members did cross the floor and join the government. Although sometimes referred to as a coalition government, according to the definition above, it was not. It was disbanded after the end of the war. As a result of the 1919 Ontario election, the United Farmers of Ontario and the Labour Party, together with three independent MLAs, formed a coalition that governed Ontario until 1923. 
In British Columbia, the governing Liberals formed a coalition with the opposition Conservatives in order to prevent the surging, left-wing Cooperative Commonwealth Federation from taking power in the British Columbia general election, 1941. Liberal Premier Duff Petullo refused to form a coalition with the third-place Conservatives, so his party removed him. The Liberal Conservative Coalition introduced a winner-take-all preferential voting system the alternative vote in the hopes that their supporters would rank the other party as their second preference, however, this strategy did not take CCF second preferences into account. In the British Columbia general election, 1952, to the surprise of many, the right-wing populist BC Social Credit Party won a minority. They were able to win a majority in the subsequent election as Liberal and Conservative supporters shifted their anti-CCF vote to Social Credit. Manitoba has had more formal coalition governments than any other province. Following gains by the United Farmers – Progressive movement elsewhere in the country, the United Farmers of Manitoba unexpectedly won the 1921 election. Like their counterparts in Ontario, they had not expected to win and did not have a leader. They asked John Bracken, a professor in animal husbandry, to become leader and premier. Bracken changed the party's name to the Progressive Party of Manitoba. During the Great Depression, Bracken survived at a time when other premiers were being defeated by forming a coalition government with the Manitoba Liberals eventually, the two parties would merge into the Liberal Progressive Party of Manitoba, and decades later, the party would change its name to the Manitoba Liberal Party. In 1940, Bracken formed a wartime coalition government with almost every party in the Manitoba legislature the Conservatives, CCF, and Social Credit, however, the CCF broke with the coalition after a few years over policy differences. The only party not included was the small, Communist Labour Progressive Party, which had a handful of seats. In Saskatchewan, NDP Premier Roy Romano formed a formal coalition with the Saskatchewan Liberals in 1999 after being reduced to a minority. After two years, the newly elected Liberal leader Jim Milanchik chose to withdraw from the coalition, however, two out of three members of his caucus disagreed with him and left the Liberals to run as New Democrats in the upcoming election. The Saskatchewan NDP was re-elected with a majority under its new leader Lorne Calvert, while the Saskatchewan Liberals lost their remaining seats and have not been competitive in the province since. According to historian Christopher Moore, coalition governments in Canada became much less possible in 1919, when the leaders of parties were no longer chosen by elected MPs but instead began to be chosen by party members. That kind of leadership selection process had never been tried in any parliament system before and remains uncommon in the parliaments of the world today. According to Moore, as long as that kind of leadership selection process remains in place and concentrates power in the hands of the leader, as opposed to backbenchers, then coalition governments will be very difficult to form. Moore shows that the diffusion of power within a party tends to also lead to a diffusion of power in the parliament in which that party operates, thereby making coalitions more likely. During the 2008 Canadian parliamentary dispute, two of Canada's opposition parties signed an agreement to form what would become the country's second coalition government since Confederation if the minority Conservative government was defeated on a vote of non confidence, unseating Stephen Harper as Prime Minister. The agreement outlined a formal coalition consisting of two opposition parties, the Liberal Party and the New Democratic Party. The Bloc Québécois agreed to support the proposed coalition on confidence matters for 18 months. In the end, Parliament was prorogued by the Governor-General, and the coalition dispersed following the election. Denmark In Denmark, all governments from 1982 until the June 2015 elections have been coalitions. The first coalition in Danish political history was formed in 1929 by Thorvald Stanning and consisted of the Social Democrats own party and the Social Liberals. Since then, a number of parties have participated in coalitions. Excluding the post-WW2 Liberation Cabinet's member parties, the following parties have done so, the Center Democrats, the Christian People's Party, the Conservative People's Party, the Justice Party, the Social Democrats, the Socialist People's Party, the Social Liberal Party, and Ventra. Finland In Finland, no party has had an absolute majority in the parliament since independence, and multi-party coalitions have been the norm. 
Finland experienced its most stable government since independence with a five-party governing coalition, a so-called «rainbow government». The Laponin cabinets set the stability record and were unusual in the respect that both moderate SDP and radical left-wing left alliance parties sat in the government with the major right-wing party national coalition. The Katanin cabinet was also a rainbow coalition of a total of five parties. India Since India's independence on 15 August 1947, Indian National Congress, the major political party instrumental in Indian independence movement, ruled the nation. The first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, second PM Lal Bahadur Shastri and the third PM Indira Gandhi, all were from the Congress party. However, Raj Narain, who had unsuccessfully contested election against Indira from the constituency of Ray Bareilly in 1971, lodged a case, alleging electoral malpractices. In June 1975, Indira was found guilty and barred by High Court from holding public office for six years. In response, an ungracious emergency was declared under the pretext of national security. The next election's result was that India's first ever coalition government was formed at the national level under the Prime Ministership of Mirarji Desai, which was also the first non-Congress national government, which existed from 24 March 1977 to 15 July 1979, headed by the Janata Party, an amalgam of political parties opposed to emergency imposed between 1975 and 1977. As the popularity of Janata Party dwindled, Mirarji Desai had to resign and Sharan Singh, a rival of Desai became the 5th PM. However, due to lack of support, this coalition government did not complete its five-year term. Congress returned to the power in 1980 under Indira Gandhi, and later under Rajiv Gandhi as the 6th PM. However, the next general election of 1989 once again brought a coalition government under National Front, which lasted until 1991, with two prime ministers, the second one being supported by Congress. The 1991 election resulted in a Congress-led stable minority government for five years. The next 11th parliament produced three prime ministers in two years and forced the country back to the polls in 1998. The first successful coalition government in India which completed the whole five-year term was the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP led National Democratic Alliance with Adil Bihari Vajpayee as PM from 1999 to 2004. Then another coalition, Congress-led United Progressive Alliance, consisting of 13 separate parties ruled India for two terms from 2004 to 2014 with Manmohan Singh as PM. However, in the 16th general election in May 2014, BJP secured majority on its own first party to do so since 1984 election and National Democratic Alliance again came into power, with Narendra Modi as Prime Minister and more. Indonesia <inaudible> 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 As a result of the toppling of Suharto, political freedom is significantly increased. Compared to only three parties allowed to exist in the New Order era, a total of 48 political parties participated in the 1999 election, a total of 24 parties in the 2004 election, 38 parties in the 2009 election, and 15 parties in the 2014 election. There are no majority winner of those elections and coalition governments are inevitable. The current government is a coalition of seven parties led by the PDIP and Golkar. Ireland In Republic of Ireland, coalition governments are quite common, not since 1977 has a single party been able to form a majority government. Coalitions are the typically formed of two or more parties always consisting of one of the two biggest parties, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, and one or more smaller parties or independent members of parliament. The current government consists of a minority Fine Gael government, supported by a confidence and supply arrangement with Fianna Fáil. Ireland's first coalition government was formed in 1948. Ireland has had consecutive coalition governments since the 1989 general election, excluding two brief Fianna Fáil minority administrations in 1994 and 2011 that followed the withdrawal of their coalition partners from government. Before 1989, Fianna Fáil had opposed participation in coalition governments, preferring single-party minority government instead. 
Irish coalition governments have traditionally been based on one of two large blocs in Dáil Éireann, either Fianna Fáil in coalition with smaller parties or independents, or Fine Gael and the Labour Party in coalition, sometimes with smaller parties. The only exception to these traditional alliances was the 23rd Government of Ireland, comprising Fianna Fáil and the Labour Party, which ruled between 1993 and 1994. The government of the 31st Dale, though a traditional Fine Gael Labour coalition, resembles a grand coalition, due to the collapse of the Fianna Fáil to third place among parties in Dale Éireann. Israel A similar situation exists in Israel, which typically has at least ten parties holding representation in the Knesset. The only faction to ever gain the majority of Knesset seats was Alignment, an alliance of the Labour Party and Mapam that held an absolute majority for a brief period from 1968 to 1969. Historically, control of the Israeli government has alternated between periods of rule by the right-wing Likud in coalition with several right-wing and religious parties and periods of rule by the centre-left Labour in coalition with several left-wing parties. Ariel Sharon's formation of the centrist Kadima Party in 2006 drew support from former Labour and Likud members, and Kadima ruled in coalition with several other parties. Israel also formed a national unity government from 1984 to 1988. The premiership and foreign ministry portfolio were held by the head of each party for two years, and they switched roles in 1986. Japan Post-World War II Japan has historically been dominated by the Liberal Democratic Party, but there was a brief coalition government formed after the 1993 election following LDP's first loss of its overall House of Representatives majority since 1955, winning only 223 out of 511 seats. The LDP government was replaced by an eight-party coalition government, which consisted of all of the previous opposition parties excluding the Japanese Communist Party, who together controlled 243 seats. Every Japanese government since then has been a coalition government in one way or another. <laughs> New Zealand MMP was introduced in New Zealand in the 1996 election. In order to get into Parliament, parties need to get a total of 50% of the 121 seats in Parliament 61. Since no parties have ever gotten a full majority, they must form coalitions with other parties. For example, in 2017, Labour got 46 seats, New Zealand First got 9, and the Green Party got 8, which adds up to a total of 63 seats. Criticism Advocates of proportional representation suggest that a coalition government leads to more consensus-based politics, as a government comprising differing parties often based on different ideologies need to compromise about governmental policy. Another stated advantage is that a coalition government better reflects the popular opinion of the electorate within a country. Those who disapprove of coalition governments believe that such governments have a tendency to be fractious and prone to disharmony, as their component parties hold differing beliefs and thus may not always agree on policy. Sometimes the results of an election mean that the coalitions which are mathematically most probable are ideologically infeasible, for example in Flanders or Northern Ireland. A second difficulty might be the ability of minor parties to play «kingmaker» and, particularly in close elections, gain far more power in exchange for their support than the size of their vote would otherwise justify. Coalition governments have also been criticized for sustaining a consensus on issues when disagreement and the consequent discussion would be more fruitful. To forge a consensus, the leaders of ruling coalition parties can agree to silence their disagreements on an issue to unify the coalition against the opposition. The coalition partners, if they control the parliamentary majority, can collude to make the parliamentary discussion on the issue irrelevant by consistently disregarding the arguments of the opposition and voting against the opposition's proposals—even if there is disagreement within the ruling parties about the issue. Powerful parties can also act in an oligocratic way to form an alliance to stifle the growth of emerging parties. 
Of course, such an event is rare in coalition governments when compared to two-party systems, which typically exist because of stifling of the growth of emerging parties, often through discriminatory nomination rules regulations and plurality voting systems, and so on. A single, more powerful party can shape the policies of the coalition disproportionately. Smaller or less powerful parties can be intimidated to not openly disagree. In order to maintain the coalition, they would have to vote against their own party's platform in the parliament. If they do not, the party has to leave the government and loses executive power. However, this is contradicted by the «kingmaker» factor mentioned above. See also <laughs> <laughs>